And Israel's government this morning promises no immediate end to the fighting in Gaza. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israel's army will shut down every Hamas tunnel under the border, even if there is a truce. Israel also called up another 16,000 reserve troops. Both sides carried out more attacks overnight. Barry Peterson is in Gaza City, where the death toll is rising again. Barry, good morning. Good morning. Well, in quiet areas and around here, that's a relative term. We are seeing people out and about. It may not be the wisest thing, but people are trying to get desperately needed supplies. Israel clearly has the military high ground, but there is condemnation for yesterday's pre-dawn attack on this UN school. Three artillery rounds believed to be Israeli slammed into the facility crowded with more than 3,000 refugees. The Israelis say they are still investigating. Israel said it was taking fire from near the school. The UN's Secretary General called the attack outrageous. The Obama administration said it was, quote, extremely concerned. Hamas called it simply a massacre. The rights of Palestinians... Chris Gunnis is a UN spokesman who has seen a lot of this war, but the school attack was just too much as he spoke with Al Jazeera. <laughs> This was another killing field, a market where people flocked thinking they were safe during a four-hour ceasefire. They were wrong, and many paid with their lives after multiple hits. Israel said the ceasefire was broken when Hamas fired rockets at Israel. Now an update we wish we did not have to report on little Shema, born by cesarean on Monday after her mother was killed. Put simply, she didn't survive. I hoped she would live, said her grandmother, Mirvat Kanan. She was my connection to my daughter. Today, baby Shema is now just another addition to the fresh graves of Gaza. There will be more fresh graves today. We're seeing a lot of activity. Really, all of Gaza is just echoing with the rumble of missile and artillery hits. Nora? Barry, thank you.